Next up, the Cleveland Browns. This is Chris's team, uh, one of them. So he, he grew up a, a Patriots fan, but married into a Browns family. He's been a Brownie for years. Seven and nine in 2000, well, seven and seven, eight and one. Seven, Sorry. eight and one. Seven, eight and give, one. Give me that extra. Last year. Division championships, plus 150 this year. So pretty good odds. Strength of schedule, number 30, fairly soft. Turnover margin, they were number eight in the league last year, plus seven. Uh, head coach is Freddie Kitchens. Uh, the offensive coordinator is Todd Munkin. Their defensive coordinator, Steve Wilkes. Love this Former team. Arizona defensive coordinator. Uh, not defensive, head coach. Uh, head coach. Um, they drafted cornerback Greedy Williams on defense. They traded for Odell Beckham Jr. They signed running back Kareem Hunt uh, on defense. They dra- I'll tell you who I think will be the steal of the draft is middle linebacker Mac Wilson. I think he's awesome. He's a playmaker. But anyway. Yards per play last year, they were number 12 on offense. 5.8 yards per play on defense, they were number 15. 5.6 yards per play given up. They are a projected favorite in eight games. Their over-under is nine. The juice on the over is minus 130. On the under, it is plus 110. Uh, I'm going to tell you, this is an interesting story about Hugh Jackson. Like This team obviously has talent. We saw it in, in the last eight games last year. Since 2006, no NFL team has had a losing record with a plus 11 turnover margin. Now, that's, that's just for the season, right? This team was plus 11 through eight games last year. They were 2-5-1. and 2-5-1. and one. Hugh Jackson was awful. Now, I don't know what kind of a coach Freddie Kitchens is going to be, but... I do trust him more than I trusted Hugh Jackson. I think this team has talent. I think they thrive on chaos. Everybody talks about all the egos and whether or not they'll be able to keep them contained and whatnot. Some teams don't need it to be contained, right? Like they, Baker Mayfield loves the ego, loves talking, loves all that, and I think that the players feed off of it. He seems to have no problem keeping these receivers in check. Yeah. I mean, which is crazy so for far, a second-year guy. He's gotten in Odell Beckham's ear. You know what? Maybe that was Eli's problem. Maybe Eli, the all shucks, real nice guy, love him, one of the best dudes ever in the NFL. Maybe that's not what Odell needs. Maybe yeah. Odell needs somebody that's gonna get in that ass. No, you're right. Uh, Kareem Hunt suspended for the first eight games. Yeah. That's okay. They got Nick Chubb. They got other guys back there. Uh, Duke Johnson. You think he's gonna play? Right. Duke Johnson got traded to the tight. Uh, oh, did he? Texans. I didn't see. I never even saw that. Yep. Um, so. They've got running backs, though. They're going to be fine. They're going to be Nick, fine. Nick Chubb's a stud. I've got them at 9-7 and seven this year. I, I think that they improve. I think they get better. But I've got them 9-7. and seven. What say you? I, I know that there's crazy hype on this team. That's ever, what scared me off. And, and that's the problem. Is The only reason people are backing away is, well, there's just too much hype. There's just too much hype. You know what there is? There's too much talent. Yeah, there's, so there's a lot of some, talent. But at it, some point in time, first time head talent, coach. talent has to matter. The first time head coach, but he's surrounded by two guys that are coordinators that have been in the league for a long time. Todd Munkin was in the running for a lot of head coaching jobs. Yeah. Chose to go to Cleveland. Made it clear, I'd rather be an OC in a place that that is fun than take a head coaching job right now at a place where I might be one and done because there's chaos, there's turmoil, and and, and all those types of things. See, that, there's a difference there. Is it here, I think there's chaos. I don't think there's turmoil. Tur- oh, the turnover, just the GM's getting fired all the time. Yeah. The head coach gets fired all the time, all this other stuff. No, it, the stability here is way different than it's been for years. And it's only that way because of John Dorsey. Yes. John Dorsey, because the Haslam's are chaos, and they are the the, the definition of lack of stability. But John Dorsey is an adult in the room that comes in. He makes football decisions. Now, a lot of times they're unpopular decisions because if a guy is troubled and has problems, he's willing to bring that guy in the locker room. If a guy, you know, is Odell Beckham and has ego, he's not afraid of these things. Let's yeah. get him in here and we'll control him. We'll figure it out. I think this is the most talented team on in the league on both sides of the football. Now, we all know all those stars. That are no, on they're, the they're young. Side. They're not. They're not exactly the most experienced yet. It doesn't but, matter. But still, I don't think it matters. They're still they're, the best. They're still. They're still the most talented team in the in the NFL from top to bottom. D 
Defensively, we don't know all those stars, but you, you talked about Mac, you talked about Greedy um, um, last year with uh, with Ward uh, being taken at the cornerback. Miles Garrett, my pick this year, and this I promise you, this is not the homer in me. Now, my record, absolutely the homer in me. Okay, I'm going to be honest about that. Miles Garrett <laughs> is without question the number one overall favorite. He won't be betting wise to be defensive player of the year. You're going to have your Aaron Donalds. You're going to have your Khalil Max, and those guys are freaks. You're going to have a couple other guys that have bigger names. What Miles Garrett has done in the this offseason to, to get himself ready for this year might be the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, he's you, you were showing me a picture of him. Getting held on a play. Getting, getting held. Now, I know that was in a preseason game against the, the Redskins, and their offensive line is trash. But, but even still, like, this guy is What you're seeing... Built. Just, he's going he's, to wreck people's worlds. I, I'm going to tell you, I have this team, and I know that this is ridiculous. Okay, <laughs> hear me out when I say that I understand this is ridiculous. You don't can do, don't give me some 14 and two. You crap. can do whatever you want with this information. All right, 14 and two <laughs> is insane. That's a lot. I've got them 13 and three. <laughs> I, I think this team is really good. I love. Listen, Freddie uh. Kitchen scares me because he's the unknown. But you know who's not unknown? And I know he's not going to call plays, but he's still going to get the offense ready. There's still going to be a vertical attack, aggressive attacking vertical def- offense. Is gonna Todd Munkin, this guy is an adult in the room that knows how to control these egos. He had to deal with Jameis Winston. He had to deal with Mike Evans. He had to deal with the chaos at the running back con- uh, uh, position down in Tampa all these years. He had a bad offensive line. He, he's been there. He's done that. None of these things scare him. Yeah, okay. I think offensively, Steve Wilkes, Steve Wilkes is, an, you know the reason Steve Wilkes got a head coaching job as a defensive coordinator? Because he was really good at that job. Yeah. Defensive coordinators don't get head coaching jobs today. Now, yeah, he was one and done. That speaks more to the Arizona's style of, of, of how they run a program than anything else. I, I cannot tell you how much I love this team. I think, I think they're going to be good. I think they're going to win this division. I don't know that that's going to be close. I think they're going to be three or four games better than everybody. I think that them being the stepchild, the bastard child of this division is over. And now I can believe that, but I just – three or four games better than everybody. I mean, you forget who's next in the uh, in the list. We're going to get there. 